Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back with another modification to our Tinkercad print and place cars. So let's get cracking. Friends, we're starting at my website, hlmodtech.com. Just want to remind you, tons of amazing lessons, and if you ever have a question or a comment, there's a built-in messaging. You can click that button, add your information, reach out to me almost instantly. Friends, I also want to remind you, up above is a link to join the Tinkercad Community Discord. As you can see, there are more than 300 members, and it's a fantastic place to talk everything Tinkercad. On to today's project, though, we're going to mod our print-and-place car. This is my original, but I've already tweaked it once. If you haven't seen either of those videos, I will have links up above. I always like to make a duplicate so that I never wreck what I've already done. All right, friends, so here we go. First things first, let's turn on that grid so you can see what I'm building on. I take that away for pictures. I'm going to delete the extra car, delete the pieces. I'm going to hide this for a moment, and I'm going to group those. So control G is group, or you can select them and you can just hit group. So now the wheels are parts that'll be separate. I can do show all and bring it back. For this part of the project, I'm also gonna rotate this 90 degrees so it looks more appropriate. And we're gonna hit D to drop. Now friends, we are gonna cut out this windshield and it's gonna be super fast. First, put your work plane on this flat place because that's where it's going to cut out. And then we're going to search for the shape. If you look closely, that's a trapezoid. If I type in trap and press and enter, this green one is perfect. We do need to rotate it though. Rotate it 90 degrees by staying inside the circle. See how it snaps to 22 and a half. If you come out here, it goes one degree at a time. Now don't stretch it. You got to come over here and type your numbers. I'm going to tell you the base width. If we look at our car, Remember it was 36, so we're gonna type 30 for a base width. We're gonna type 24 for a top width. We're gonna do a height of 7.5. I did check these numbers for you ahead of time. And check that out, it fits pretty neat. Now 24 wasn't enough, so we're gonna do 22 and press enter, and bam, that angle is a little cooler. We're gonna change it into a hole, we're gonna select those two parts and we're gonna click align. We want it to be in the center. And that, my friends, is gonna be your windshield. Now I am gonna stretch it this way. And I am gonna stretch it this way because I've got my measurements the way I want. I'm gonna grab just those two shapes and hit group. Windshield cut out just like that. Notice how I left a mark inside. Check this out, if you double click, we can switch to a point one nudge, click on that piece and do control up. And then when you click out here, it does the edit and you can double check to see if it's what you like. And I do like that. Real quickly, I'm gonna ungroup that and I'm gonna take the same part and I'm gonna do control D and I'm gonna do shift nudge to move it to the back. This is gonna be my back window too, but I'm gonna adjust it. I'm gonna bring it back a little further and now I am gonna stretch the handles and I'm gonna shrink it down a little more. I'm gonna do control up so it raises up. That's a pretty cool spot for it to cut out. And then I'm gonna do control D. Notice that one moved out of the way so I'm gonna just delete it. So I'm gonna click back on my other one and do control D. And I'm gonna do control up. Now this one I want to be smaller. So I'm just gonna hold alt and shift and shrink it till it's the size I want. That's pretty neat, but I do want it to cut further in. Friends, you have just created awesome holes that you're gonna cut in for your windows. I'm gonna hide my tires, hide, hide, and I'm gonna group those parts all together. And we have just cut in our front and back windows just like that. Friends, let's do show all, and I'm going to cut Get Kraken into the back of my car, and I'm going to put HL Mod Tech on the front. So first, I'm going to close this. I'm going to hit W for work plane. I'm going to put it right here. I'm just going to bring out this text. I'm going to type Get Kraken. I'm going to switch to Sans, so that way it's easier to read or 3D print, and I'm going to hold down Alt-Shift to shrink it till it looks the way I want do F to fit view control Z if you ever grab the wrong part let's see if we can get that so it fits well on my car I like that I'm gonna make it stick out five and then I'm gonna push it in four so see how it said negative 4.6 I'm gonna actually change that to negative five and press enter so it's sticking in quite a ways 
and then I'm going to align it. So I'm going to shift select the car and the words. Notice it says two shapes. Click on the car and choose middle. And then I'm going to do control D. I'm going to put my work plane back on the ground. Click on the duplicate and let's do shift nudge to move it forward. I'm going to switch it to a one millimeter nudge so it goes faster. There it is. F to fit view, orbit around, and we need to flip it. Bam. Now it looks like get cracking, but I'm going to change it instead to say HL mod tech. And let's push it into our car. I can just nudge it back until it cuts the way I want. And I'm going to do a couple control ups to get it right where I like. Remember, you can adjust your nudge to whatever you need. I'm going to quickly shift select those two, click align, make the red one the boss, and make sure it's centered. All right, friends, I'm going to hide these wheels again quick because I don't want to group them with the body of the car. And I'm going to choose group. And that's pretty darn fun. Show all, grab everything, and we need to rotate it 90 degrees so it's ready for printing. Don't forget to hit D to drop so it jumps to the right level. Friends, there you have it. You now have got a print in place car that has got cutout windows on every side and a sweet logo. Friends, of course, I hope you're enjoying this project, having a ton of fun. If you ever make something awesome with it, don't forget you can share your creation with me by generating a new link, copy that link, and then reach out and share it with me. I am HL Mod Tech on Facebook, Instagram, Gmail, and TikTok. You can also find me on Twitter. I am HL Tinkercad. And of course, if those options don't work for you, you can also visit my website, hlmodtech.com. Down at the bottom is a sweet built-in messaging tool. You can click that button, add your information or share link, and reach me almost instantly. Of course, you can also find me using the Tinkercad Community Discord. Finally, friends, a huge shout out to Speedy Machines for designing the first one that now we're having so much fun modifying. Friends, of course, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, if you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when this brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a